Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, your time. Welcome to News in Details TV. Welcome my new members to the old ones. I love you guys. Guys, thank you for your support. As you're supporting us, may the Lord support you in everything you lay your hands. Amen. The News in Details. If you have been following the battle between... <laughs> in fact, yes, it is a battle because it's a battle for the presidency between Atiku, between... Um, P2B and um, between um, Jagaban of Lagos. <laughs> Ever since um, Obasanjo endorsed uh, P2B, it has been like the internet has been on fire. That is just it. Baba Tinubu, he's, he's angry and he is giving Nigerians reasons why they must elect him, not. Um, Peter Obi. In fact, he even said that why would uh, that is because Peter Obi is stingy. That was why he left money. That who does that? For you to understand <laughs> the kind of um, mentality uh, Baba is having. He's he's doing everything in his power to make sure he's been elected. He promised the youth car. He promised you own your houses. He has promised a lot of things. But for us to get the facts and figures, let us quickly take what he said recently. The news the way it is. He said that you won't regret electing me, Tinubu tells youths. That is what he's saying now. That b you will be making a mistake electing b b Let us take the news in details. The way it is, the presidential candidate of all progressive Congress, Asuwajibola Ahmed Tunubu, has promised to serve Nigerians tirelessly, faithfully and honestly. <laughs> if he emerges the president in, two, in 2023, February uh, 25 election, Tunubu said he purposely surrendered himself with brilliant youths because he believed in democracy of ideas, teamwork, and collaboration. According to him, he will create a thriving digital economy where those interested in pursuing careers of integrity in ICT will be able to do so. Tinubu stated this on the Friday, uh, just yesterday, in his address delivered during a town hall meeting with youths in Abuja organized by Governor Yahaya Bello of Kogi State with the team Nigeria 2023 setting the youth's agenda. Who is, who is, who is fooling who now? Who is fooling who? Anything goes when it comes to presidential uh, campaign. Anything goes. They will promise you heaven and earth. How many jobs has, did he even create when he was the two-time governor of Lagos State? Uh -huh. Wasn't Agbaro in the increase? Here we have a man that left surplus when he left office. That only gives him the credit. Here we have a man that interacts more with the youths. Wherever you go, the youths are clamoring selflessly. Wherever he makes appearance, you see a lot of the youths. That he, it's a, it is a shutdown. If he goes to Kogi, it's a shutdown. He goes to the east, it's a shutdown. South, shutdown. West, shutdown. North, shutdown. What else do you want? Yeah. Baba should be resting. He's not capable. He says he's going to serve you people fearlessly and tirelessly. Hey, has he participated in any of the debates? Let me know. Has he participated in any? He's always chickening out. He's always in one way or the other. Remember his health. He's, he's not fit. So, how is he going to serve you people tirelessly? How is he going to produce or, or make sure you people have the avenue? Where you will get all your job. He, he did not do that when he was in power two times. Now he wants to become the president. This man should be resting. And hear me and hear me clearly. If the youths make mistake this time around, oh my goodness, what they, the wilderness they went through in 2022, that finished in 2022, it will be more because this one is another, how many years? Four years. Oh my goodness. This one, nobody will be able to save them. So this man is not fit. He's not fit anywhere. He's not. And why is he? <laughs> Do you know that he went for that to say that um, Aulushiko Abasanjo is jealous of him. That was why he is jealous of his achievement. 
Do you know that it was even during the time of uh, um, um, a lot was also better during his time. A lot was also better during his time. Somebody that uh, um, that had the billion van in his home. I'm talking about uh, Jacobana of Lagos. And made sure that um, uh, Buhari was in power. And nobody sanctioned him. Nobody talked about it. Let it be another person that did it. That person would have been cooling in police custody by now. In fact, that person will not be out. Because it is what it is on head of that that person did. Now, somebody is saying a president is better than presidency. We need a president, not presidency. Another person said, electing this man in this coming election will be another mistake Nigerian will make. And that will, will make suffering continue. Open your eyes and don't sell your future for small change. I said this earlier. We don't, de we don't de regret say you contest, self. <laughs> we are already regretting APC since 2015. You of all people promised 24 our slight and to one naira to one dollar. What is happening now? Like Buhari Abi, sir, please, oh, with folded hands, you in the name of Almighty God, go and relax, rest in Jesus' name. Somebody said, if Nigeria is working, this man should have been in jail. That is what I, you, you, did you guys hear that? This person said it all. Somebody that had blown van in his home, somebody that nothing happened. He said he had security guiding him. Nothing happened. And there they are busy chasing those people, you know, that is committing all this petty, petty crime. Why you have all these people that are in power that has committed more heinous crime and nothing is happening about them. Nigeria should better open their eyes. Only lazy and mad youth will vote for grandfather in this critical condition of Nigeria. Nigeria is about to collapse in the hands of grandfather, but youths will have to save Nigeria. That is it. This person has said it all. This person has said it all. These people don't understand. They should go and rest. If Abasanjo, Lushoku Abasanjo, he is a military personnel. He knows what is that. And he even told the youth, it is now you people have to stand up and take it by force or you people will regret it. So that is it. Let me know your, your thoughts in the section below. I want to again thank you guys for the love. Please help us and share out and keep your bell on. I will see you guys again on my next video. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.